Uh, good day to you to friends. Today we are going to discuss module on Niti Aayog, that is National Institution for Transforming India. Niti Aayog was formulated on January 1st, 2015. The Government of India has replaced the Planning Commission with a new institution named National Institution for Transforming India, that is Niti Aayog. Its aim is to serve as the think tank of the government, a directional policy dynamo. Niti Aayog will provide governments at the central and the state levels with the relevant strategic and technical advice across the spectrum of key elements of policy. This include matters of national and international import on the economic front, dissemination of best practices from within the country as well as from other countries, the infusion of new policy ideas and specific issue-based support. Now friends, we are going to discuss the functions and role of the Niti Aayog. The Niti Aayog formulated its objectives through its vision of national development, priorities, sectors and strategies with the active involvement of states keeping in mind the national objectives the main objectives or uh, uh, the main functions in the words of niti aayog are like this first cooperative federalism it would foster cooperative federalism through structured support initiatives and mechanisms with the states on the continuous basis recognizing that strong states make a strong nation. Now, as we know that we have a federal polity where states and center coexist together, but somehow over the last few years, what we have seen that central level or central government is more powerful than the states. Here, the plan is to look into the cooperative federalism spirit. That means this, we would like to make strong states for, uh, for making a strong nation. Second, credible plans. Niti Aayog would develop mechanism to make credible plans at the village level and make them permeate to the higher tiers of the government. Now, that means in this case, the trust has been that the planning should be followed from the village level itself. Then next is national security. The issues of national security would be considered and coordinated with any specific issues in economic strategies and policy. Now, the next is the weaker sections. The Niti Aayog would lay special emphasis on the weaker sections of the society. Next, policy and strategy formulation and their monitoring. In this, Niti Aayog will talk about policy and strategies formulation that would be undertaken by Aayog and make arrangements for monitoring and feedback to encourage innovations and required mid-course corrections. Next is partnerships. It will make provisions to give advice and promote partnerships between like-minded, now think tanks at national as well as international levels, educational and policy research institutions would be encouraged to work together with new ideas. Experts, it would have a build-up of a support system that would initiate creativity and entrepreneurship by bringing in national and international experts from various fields. Next is resolution platform. A platform would be set up to resolve intersectoral and interdepartmental disputes to increase the level of execution of developmental projects and activities. Next is resource center. A state of the art resource center would be set up and become a repository of research on good governance and best practices in sustainable development of all regions and sectors and help the stakeholders to receive the information. Now, the point here is that in this, the think tank will work towards the overall growth of all sections of the society 
all areas of the pantry and then we move on to the next that is assessment and evaluation proper monitoring and evaluation programs must be done along with the with an assessment of funds and other resources needed to implement effectively on time now in niti ayog lays more importance on the evaluation process because till now this evaluation process was merely on papers so we were not aware what is the exact outcome of any policy or the program and they were continuing it without looking into the desired results now niti ayog has made specific reference that every program uh, will be monitored and evaluated so that it determines the utility of a program or a policy next is technical upgradation there would be a special focus to upgrade technology in all spheres to have better implementation of projects finally the niti ayog can plan various other activities to execute the national development uh, development goals given above the composition of niti ayog the niti ayog would have prime minister as its chairman the governing council would include uh, all the chief ministers of the states and lieutenant governors of all union territories regional regional councils would be established to deal with state region specific problems they would be Uh, convened by the prime minister and will comprise of the chief ministers and all lieutenant governors of all union territories of the nation to be chaired by the chairperson of the niti ayog or his nominee the prime minister can call for specialists and experts as special invitees by a nomination the formal organization of niti ayog is a vice chairperson appointed by the prime minister full time members part time members maximum number would be 2 on rotation from the best research universities or organizations in ex officio capacity ex officio members maximum of 4 members of the union council of ministers who would be nominated by the prime minister activities of the niti ayog the 15 year vision document that will be enacted in the beginning of 2017-18 fiscal year will replace uh, the earlier 5 year planning system that has been followed for over 6 decades a cursory look at the work assigned to the ayog would be in order to ascertain the growing importance of the body in the governance for instance the ayog has been drawing a vision document which will set the guidelines for country's development at the same time the ayog has assigned the job of identifying the structural bottlenecks and devise a way to overcome in sectors like education health labor agriculture infrastructure and disinvestment of public sector undertakings the ayog's role is becoming increasingly critical the vision document will now also include internal security and defense as they were not part of the earlier five year plans the fact that the government is heavily banking on the ayog's uh, brain trust to devise and induce reforms in order to create a healthy competition among the various states speak volumes of the body's growing importance activities of the niti ayog there these are the activities uh, of niti ayog since its inception first is analysis of simultaneous elections uh, various stakeholders have been expressing sol- uh, solemnly at the requirement of a systematic mechanism to terminate method of frequent cycle elections the idea of undertaking simultaneous elections is being seriously considered to mitigate expenditure and the machinery that goes into it it was uh, it was in the news few days back that in the last election uh, before 2014 that is 2019 the total expenditure was about 1100 crores of rupees 
which increased to over 4,000 crores in 2014 general elections. So, the quantum of expenditure is increasing with every election. So, there is a constant thinking uh, going on but to have simultaneous elections in all the states and the central level at one time or at one go. Niti Ayok published its analysis on examination, the need and the viability of holding simultaneous elections. It is essential to outline the scope and meaning of the term at the very outset. Uh, in accordance with the fundamental basis of democratic polity, the Constitution of India provides the determining composition of key constitutional institutions such as the Office of President, Vice President, both Houses of Parliament, that is Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, legislatures of various states, etc., through free and fair elections for specific terms of each of these institutions, which is normally five years. The term simultaneous elections broadly mean structuring the Indian election cycle in a manner that elections to the Lok Sabha and the state assemblies are synchronized. The second is knowledge of initiatives. Knowledge initiatives is a report of energy division which included to put together in one place the products of collaborative efforts of Niti Ayog and its national and international partners in the energy space. Now these areas of collaboration are energy data management, comparison of energy models and geospatial mapping. Next is Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs which was started on January 1st, 2016 are expected to be achieved by 31st December 2030. However, some targets that built on preset international agreements are expected to be achieved sooner. The Niti Ayog has been entrusted with the role to coordinate transforming our world, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. The goals and targets will stimulate action over the next 15 years in the areas of social uh, importance, that is people, planet, prosperity, peace and partnership. Now, people, the goal is to end poverty and hunger and to ensure that all human beings can fulfill their potential in dignity and equality and in a healthy environment. Planet must be saved from degradation, including sustainable consumption and production, sustainably managing its natural resources and taking urgent actions on climate change. Prosperity that is, the achievement of SDGs will ensure that all human beings can enjoy prosperous and fulfilling lives and that economic, social and technological progress occurs in harmony with nature. Peace, the target of attaining peace will depend or develop peaceful, just and inclusive societies without fear and violence to ensure sustainable development. Lastly, partnership, keeping in line with the concept of the world, being a global village with an invent, advent of digitization, this goal will drum up the means essential to execute this schedule through a global partnership for sustainable development based on a spirit of strengthened global solidarity, focused in particular on the needs of the poorest and the most vulnerable and with the participation of all countries, all stakeholders and all people. The next activity is partnership between the Niti Ayok and UNDP. UNDP's partnership with Niti Ayok started in India earlier with the Planning Commission in 1999. UNDP supports six projects with Niti Ayok with the objective to strengthen human development, planning and budgeting. 
Some of UNDP's highest impact projects have been with the Niti Aayog, which are human development towards bridging inequality, strengthening capacities for decentralized planning, capacity development for district planning, strengthening state plans for human development, rural decentralization and participatory planning for poverty reduction. Next is building smart police in India. Now the need for police reforms has been stressed on various forums in India since a long time ago. India is a rapidly, rapidly uh, growing economy and can sustain itself only in a safe environment. Terrorism, left-wing extremism, crimes including cyber crimes, law and order issues, threats which call for a strong and efficient police for internal security. There are certain areas which has been identified where reforms in police is to be required to make it a smart police in India by Niti Aayog. That is boosting capacity and infrastructure, legislative reforms, administrative reforms, technological scaling, strengthening the Central Bureau of Investigation, establishing a police commensurate, commissionerate set up in the urban areas and developing beat constabulary in rural areas. Next is smart cities. Uh, Ministry of Urban Development has disseminated plenty of information about a smart city through its website. The states would have to find out what they want to do for sustainable urban development and lastly working with the states radically redefining center state relations niti aayog has for the first time ensured that all the states take a lead in providing policy interventions to the union government a platform for cooperative federalism niti aayog facilitates the working together of the union and the states as equal partners niti aayog acts to allow states to deepen their policy engagements with the central government in its very first year niti aayog hosted three subgroups of chief minister on three crucial policy issues that is swachh bharat skill development and centrally sponsored schemes apart of apart from this there are a number of activities which are carried out uh, by niti aayog uh, besides three ma main activities being undertaken by the aayog its various efforts are impacting the society and the economy to be a better one that is through niti lectures that is transforming india the niti aayog has a primary objective as building a stronger nation by strengthening the states niti aayog began niti lectures to enable and transfer knowledge to states niti aayog aims to bring policy makers academic academics experts and administrators of global repute to india for the benefit of policy makers in the states and the center by these lecture series this is aimed at learning from global experience in development and good governance social service sector delivery the resource book on good practices in social sector delivery 2015 has been prepared under the guidance and support of niti aayog earlier planning commission government of india and united nations development program it has been prepared under the government of india united nation development program project human development towards bridging inequalities and document good practices implemented in the states and the union territories of the country the 37 good practices documents in the form of case studies have undergone elaborate process of validation and verification 
It comprises of 11 thematic categories. Each case study highlights relevant features including the rationale, resources utilized, impact, uh, replicability and sustainability. Niti's policy making uh, initiatives, that means the Niti Agu has uh, taken certain initiatives, policy making initiatives with regard to uh, closure of central public sector undertakings. Now in this, those central public sector undertakings which are chronically sick in the sense they are incurring losses continuously for last many years. Uh, it is proposed that the, these central public sector undertakings may be closed. Now strategic develop, uh, disinvestment of central public sector undertakings. Now uh, with the uh, previous government making recommendations for disinvestment of central public sector undertakings. Now this government has, the present government has also initiated strategic disinvestment of central public sector undertakings in a phased manner. The purpose behind is that to lose their control over these central public sector undertakings being the single largest uh, investor of uh, uh, investor in these central public sector undertakings by disinvestment, it is going to uh, shut off its some share uh, in, in terms of percentage and involving other uh, financial institutions and the general public as its stakeholders or shareholders so that more competitive uh, spirit can be generated. Then next is national nutrition strategy. We, we see that in India, Niti's policy making initiatives include national nutrition strategy, medical council of India reforms, university grants commission reforms, revitalization of non-governmental organizations and public sector, portal post matrix scholarships for civil caste students. Then next is Atal Innovation Mission. The objective of the Niti Aayog will be to develop an unmatched innovation and entrepreneurship ecosystem in country through the Atal Innovation Mission in the coming year. The, the Atal in Innovation System or mission will start with 100 incubation centers, grand challenges on social and economic problems, 500 tinkering, tinkering labs in schools, cooperative uh, federalism. Now three subgroups of the chief ministers have been formulated to advise the honorable prime minister on three critical issues. That is centrally sponsored schemes, skill development and Swachh Bharat. The, another activity is science and technologies roadmap for future, the Niti Aayog prepared a roadmap in the field of science and technology. There are certain important areas which Niti Aayog has considered, that is data mining, cyber physical system, biotechnology, cyber security, nanotechnology, smart manufacturing, that is 3D printing, additive manufacturing, Persian agriculture, advanced energy storage. Then e-version of transforming India, there has been a push towards digitizing all government departments, ministries and agencies. The demonetization carried out by the government has been an effort to move the economy towards the cashless or less cash one to boost e-commerce and trade. Critical assessment of Niti Aayog on the following basis, uh, we have made assessment of critical analysis of Niti Aayog. First one is autonomy. The Niti Aayog has not been given full autonomy to perform without delays, unlike the election commission, which is the constitutional body which has been showing results owing to its independent structure, unlike planning commission. Niti Aayog has no financial clout to allocate development. Next, powers and responsibilities. 
there is an evident gap between the powers and responsibilities of Niti Ayok. The institution has been given more powers without the requisite capabilities, which is detrimental for governance. Niti Ayok needs to build the capacity to bring in convergence amongst the federal units. Federation in India has been less strong than the center and the states need to build its capacity. Next is attendance. Many states are still not attending the Niti Aayog's meetings, showing its incompetence to cooperate with the states. Moreover, the decision to involve the chief ministers for drafting reports on key issues has extended the timelines. The couple of chief ministers are yet to submit their reports on key issues such as Swachh Bharat, skill development, and social sector schemes. The incompetence of staff, many posts are left unfilled because of lack of competent officers and staff members. Moreover, the officers consider Niti Aayog as a punishment posting. There is a need felt for internal subject expertise. Experts are hired externally when required. Skill and leadership is essential to make the IOC successful. Induction of full-time members is slow and only recently CEO and the third full-time member was appointed. No clarity. There is no clarity about whether five-year plans shall be continued after the 12th plan finishes in March 2017 or not. Neither there is any clarity on the role of National Development Council, Governing Council and Interstate Council, which may lead to policy conflict. And lastly, mandate of think tank. There appears to be confusion in the role and mandate of the think tank for the no constitutional backing put uh, puts a question mark on the legitimacy. It does not have stronger power to impose policies, no consultations of states before forming the IOC. States like Kerala, Karnataka and Bihar are opposed the idea of this think tank. It can be concluded that Niti Aayog is like the new kit in town, which is not going anywhere. It has started its activities with a bank and moving forward at an alarming pace. It is collaborating with global agencies and nations to make a positive impact on the society, economy and the environment. Friends, this is what all about Niti Aayog. Thank you very much.